Hiya folks, it's Kikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Play Betrayal at Krondor, and when last we left off, we got some absolutely fantastic armor. Valharu armor, which I gave to Gorath and Owen. I probably shouldn't have given this to Gorath, though. I probably should have Owen use this, because Owen is slightly more vulnerable. So, if I... Actually, can I just swap if I do that? No, I can't. So I'm going to have to put this on the ground and then swap like that and that. And there we go. Much better. Now I can have you pick up the staff because I get the feeling we might need that at some point and you can fix up that armor to be 100%. Excellent. With that done, we need to go and head to the north, and uh, I don't know why I instinctively click that, because that is the map I normally rely on, it's not the map we can rely on, we are here, we need to get to here so that we can talk to the pillars. Pug needs to have a word with the gods contained within, so we want to ignore this way, and instead go this way, which of course involves sleeping, because it is late. Let us, uh, heal up. Uh, somebody, by the way, noticed exactly how the crystal staves work. The, uh, stamina that would otherwise be lost casting the spell is taken from the number of shards. So, I can actually cast quite freely. I'm not going to, because I like hoarding all the stuff I've got. Also, speaking of hoarding stuff, I have even more crystals here. Why not? But I'm sure all these crystals will come in useful in the inevitable dungeon of the chapter. Also, nothing here, and... Ooh, more crystals! Yay, I'll take them. I won't complain. Ooh, by the way, more crystals! I'll take them too. How much more space do we have for crystals? Ah, like, nearly a hundred. I was, I was about to say, ah, like none, but no, we have one more pile of crystals that's mostly empty. And I don't think there are any enemies here for us to worry about, because I think we came this way originally, right at the beginning of the chapter. Also, there's a hole in the ground. Anything good in here? No, I've already dug up that hole. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've done all of these. Yeah, there's nothing here. Nothing here at all. Alright, let's just uh, beeline straight for where we need to be. Also, there are no uh, yellow crystals in the northern part of the map. Probably so that you didn't find crystals that way until you're told about it. That's probably why. Or it could just be that they just plonked them down randomly and they just didn't put any there. Could be the reason. Right, so we are now, we've traveled for nearly a day, we are, oh, we have quite a distance still to go. Quite a distance, but fortunately we have absolutely tons of rations, so it's not going to be a problem resting. Yeah, we have lots. We could keep going for weeks. Not that we should, but we could keep going for weeks. Okay, we are nearly there. We're not nearly there at all, are we? No, we are getting there now. We head east, and then we head north. And that should bring us to where we need to be. I hope, anyway. Pug did want to come here. I hope it was for a good reason. I thought for a moment there that was an enemy, but no, that's uh, not an enemy. So, this goes north. Pretty sure this goes north. Have I gone past where I need to be? Uh, no, no, I'm heading in exactly the right direction. Also, two of these. I should totally click them. Yep. Take 25 more. And... 20 more! Excellent. Now, let us go and have a conversation. If they're talkative. Also, there's my thing. It will stay there forever. Okay, hi, Pillars. Pug waited. When at last it became clear the entity within was beyond reaching, he removed his hand from the crystalline pillar. Gone. Either it's sleeping or it's died. I can't tell which. What about this one? That one's gone too. 
that one's got... Oh, it's going to be this one. Over here. Isn't it? The crystal was cold. Okay, it's not that one. This one? No. This one? No. This one? Oh, it says, uh... Pug waited. Yep. He's gone. From now on, we must help ourselves. Um... I feel like... There's a pillar we... We were told to come here. And... Nothing? Okay, I'm gonna check every single pillar. So, no. No. There are seven pillars here. No. 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 Huh. I thought I needed to come here. Like, I really did. But, uh... Clearly not. Just gone, or... Yeah... A very bad feeling about that pillar. Like... Okay, maybe we... Maybe because I came here... And I spoke to them all... Hmm... Okay, so... Clearly I'm not meant to be here now, because there's nothing I can... Okay, that's been hurting me, by the way. That's been hurting me, talking to that pillar. So, let's leave that pillar behind, and actually, we're gonna save here. We're gonna save here, just in case I did, in fact, need to go and talk to that pillar. Um, uh, and... We will then move up. Now... We do know somewhere we can go, and that is that cave. Also, hi, thing with... Oh, no crystals, I've already claimed those ones. Right, let's check the map. We want to go here. Nobody has pointed us in this direction, but I get the feeling this is where we need to go. So let's go east. This is when I've somehow managed to break the game by doing things in a weird order. It could happen. It could very much happen. I doubt it, but it could happen. Because I've spoken to every single pillar. There's nothing there to uh, discuss. Nothing there to discuss. So instead, we will head to the water and to that cave. This is when Pug's like, ah, I remember now, we need to totally be here. I hardly hope so, but, uh, we'll find out. Okay, we're getting close, I imagine, to the bridge. Oh, we're not getting close to the bridge at all. We need to go southwest if we're gonna get close to the bridge. Just zoom here. Okay, that brings us to the bridge. There are two bridges. And the second one... Ooh! The second one brings us to the cave. Now, the cave... Okay, that's the... One of the bridges. The cave has the enemies I can't defeat in it. Or at least I couldn't defeat. I bet I can defeat them now. Now would I have that, uh, Strength Drain spell. I think that's what I need. How much more of this can I carry? Very little is the answer. Very little. So I shouldn't actually... That has a hundred uses? Wow! Okay, just, just keep that. I thought, hmm, is that gonna be useful? Yeah, it's an a hundred use Ring of Pranda. That's very useful. That basically means we don't need to, uh, use magic to get light ever again. Ah. I did not remove this game. There we go. I have now removed that game. I thought I had. I hadn't. Right! Why could it not be saved? 
Did I click the wrong thing? Save. Okay, I must have clicked the wrong thing. Either way, in we go. Really starting to wonder if I've done something wrong. Either way, that has uh, activated. So, map. Let's explore around and see if I can find those enemies that I couldn't defeat before. I mean, we might as well go this way as well, just in case. Also, rubble! There's nothing in the rubble. I'm not surprised the game has not put anything in piles of rubble before. Be a weird time to start. What about down here? Not surprisingly, nothing down the dead end. Half expecting at some point for an ambush to appear behind us, but uh, game has been pretty kind with that. Also, I doubt there are going to be any pits here because we haven't found any rope. Little subtle things, like the game's not given us any rope, so not likely to be any pits, but there might be a pit. It probably won't lead to anything compulsory if there is a pit. Okay, uh, another dead end? Oh yes, we're doing good at finding dead ends. That's all we're finding right now. Now let's see if we can find some of these wind elementals. Found more rocks! That's a thing. Okay. Over here now. Another dead end. Yep. Another dead end. Is this leading in a big circle by any chance? It might be. It might be leading in a big circle, which will ultimately lead me to the Wind Elementals. Mm. Gorath yawned. Oh, we need rest. Okay. Rest time. Is that going to be enough rest? I hope so. That's not a ladder. That is a bit of wall. This is also a bit of what there's nothing in here. There's literally nothing so far, except those rooms where combat was. Because this, I think, has almost brought me back to where we were. If I head down, I bet this will bring me full circle. Back to the rooms with... Okay, this leads me to... Yep, yep, full circle. Full circle back to where the wind elemental was. Or well, wind elementals, there were two. So this is a door that... That leads to the same room. That leads to the same room. So I'm going to explore everywhere but there. And see what else we can find. Okay, I'm finding... More. I'm gonna actually no, let's go deal with those wind elementals because if we can, we should. Because there might be something good in there. Okay, let's save and let's hope that this drain strength spell does the trick. It probably won't. Okay, where are they? Oh! The creature turned to attack. For a moment, Pug froze, whispering, Kamina! But the confrontation would be difficult. This was the moment long waited for. Oh, subservience of Makana must die, he shouted as he advanced into battle. Okay, right. Let's use Strength Drain. Drain Strength and Victim are gifts to the caster. Right, let's, uh, let's use this on you. Oh, that just kills them. Oh, that just kills them stone dead. Right. So, we've found their weakness. It is indeed Strength Drain. And... Can I hit you? No, I can't. Well, I'll just use it on you right now. And you can just hit. There we go. Okay, you move closer. That's fine. Right, oh. That's not fine, because we can't now use the uh, strength drain. 
Okay, you're... Why did you move away? That seems counterproductive. Well, you know what? If you want to do that, that's fine. I'll just do this. And it didn't kill you. Okay. But maybe... Maybe they have a health regen? Ah, uh, you're dead now. Okay, <laughs> we're coming for you, Pentathians! So, we've managed to find... Gamina anyway. I hope there wasn't anything really, really valuable in this dungeon. I hope not. Well, let's go. Also, ooh, that actually did drain quite a bit of our, uh, our stats. But, we should be able to prevail here if we just, you know, rest a bit. And have at thee. There we go! Search the bodies. Oh! We found her! She lives. Makala has many blessings to count. Gorath, see if you can do something about the cage. Cover your head and stand back. Donk! Oh dear. Hug took Gamina into his arms. Eyes glistening with relieved tears, he hugged the girl tight to his chest, and for a long moment he simply held her, his head resting in her silver-white mane of hair, while he mulled through recent events. At last he slipped a finger beneath her chin, gently lifted and allowed his gaze to lock with hers as they initiated the special mind speech that had been Gamina's gift since birth. He was lying, father. All that time, Gamina thought, even when he brought me here. He was trying to get you away from Krondor. I know, I know, Pug thought in return, pushing a stray wisp of her hair into place. I shall have to see you better guarded in the future. I'd always supposed that your gifts would keep you safe from harm. But I see my pride in you sometimes borders on my dangerously arrogant. We must be more careful. Agreed? Agreed. Again she hugged herself to him. Feeling her faint nod, he released her and kissed her forehead, looked to where Owen and Gorath stood at the cave mouth. Curiously, the squire was bent double, his face buried in his hands as he shook with violent coughs. I'm okay, Owen wheezed, waving his hands, occasionally stealing glances at Kamina. Really, I'll be fine, Pug smiled. The boy's theatrics were poor, but it was manifestly obvious he wished an introduction before his lungs collapsed. Kamina, this hacking young ruffian, is Squire Owen Belford of Tyburn. Both he and Gorath have been instrumental in helping find you. Perhaps you should have them down to Stardock for dinner someday. Stardock? Owen's performance faltered at the mention of Pug's Academy of Magic. Realising his lapse, he coughed tentatively into his hand. You mean, the Stardock? None other, Pug frowned, as he drew out a small, multifaceted stone from the folds of his robes. This special pattern stone should take us there, but we have to drop off Gamina before we attend to our business. We will go to join Prince Arutha, Gorath asked. No, Pug replied, clapping his hands overhead. We go to Sethanon. Chapter 9 Mad God's Rage. Oh, I think we're going straight to endgame stuff here. Lockley's eyes hardened. At some level, he wanted to believe he'd seen something in the instant of the gate's collapse. It was irrational. No doubt a vision he had conjured for himself to soften the blow of Patrice's death. Oh. As a man who had stood against many armies, Lockley knew all too well about last-second visions seen on the battlefield. There was absolutely no chance that Patrice could have survived the blast. None. By some agency beyond his control, he turned back the melancholy that threatened to overtake him, rationally booking his, booking his grief for the lost magician. There was still an army to contend with, still more hell to slay, still a kingdom to defend. There would be time for grieving when it was finished. Such a dumb way to die, Lockley said, biting off the words bitterly. Senior James nodded. He died a good death, Locky. I wouldn't have wished for him to go, but he died to save others. You say it all the time, James, but there's no good way to die. They're all bad. James stared at his old friend and saw the coldness that glimmered in Lockley's gaze. He had come to know that look over the years, an expression that had first manifested itself at the Battle of Armanga years before when Lockley's girlfriend, Bronwyn, had been slain by a troll. A bit of Locky had died then, and in that place had grown the seed that had bloomed into a deadly and superior knight. But in all that time, he had never forgiven himself for letting the girl die. You're not mad Patrice is dead, James said finally. You're angry that you didn't die in his place. Lockley's eyes flashed protest, but suddenly he reached for his sword as three flashes appeared in the woods. Spellweavers, Lockley shouted. Disliking the fact that they would be at a disadvantage against a magical opponent without Patrice, James steeled himself as he grabbed for his weapon. Hey, they're here! Stay your swords, seniors. I believe it is still considered rude in the kingdom to skewer your friends. 
Duke Park. Never have I been half so relieved to see a friendly face. We were expecting more hell magicians. Sarani magicians. James, or rather magicians trained by a Sarani. No mortal witch would have the capability to make a rift machine, nor would they chance going into battle with such poor odds of success. I still should like to know how exactly it was that Delicar managed to make contact with Makala. I had hoped the Mordhel would be wary of another such attack, following the defeat of Muramandus ten years ago. Prince Arutha said they hoped to find Muramandus and free him. The Mordhel are convinced we've been holding him captive all these long years. So Gorath has told me. Doubtless Makala exploited that belief to his advantage. Then at least that at least explains one wrinkle. The Mordhel have never forgiven us for that loss. But why is Makala doing all of this? Obviously he isn't in this to rescue a dead Mordhel leader. For a mo for the moment I believe I know, but I don't wish to say until I've taken a better look at something. This last problem will have to unravel I will have to unravel myself, with some assistance from Gorath and Owen. But 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 James! We could have James and Locklear and there could be five people Oh wait. Three globes for the pictures. Yeah, we're not having the rest of them back. From here, I think we'll be able to teleport into the caverns beneath Sethanon. It is there our objective lies. What of Locklear and myself? Once Prince Arutha arrives with his reinforcements, deliver my assurance that he will not face anything magical from the Mordhell. If Makala indeed has assistance, they will be uninterested in the prince. They will be waiting for me. Prevent Makala from reaching the Lifestone? Well, I mean... We could leave! But I don't think the game's gonna let us leave. And so, when we come back, folks, possibly the final dungeon of the game. We're at the final dungeon of the game. I think we're about to finish the game! Oh dear! Oh dear! I, I'm not sure I'm ready for this, but... Uh, well, we're as ready as we'll ever be. I mean, I do have the Guard of Revanche and fantastic armor. I hope there wasn't more armor in the, uh, in the, uh, place where we were before. I hope not. And so, when we come back, maybe the end? I don't know. One thing's for sure, though. Gonna have to use those horns before we get to the end of the game. Gonna have to use them. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.